Bill in Virginia, and uh, welcome back. Uh, still working on the uh, end scale structures. Got the uh, next building, uh, what I would consider to be complete, with the exception of putting uh, the glazing in for the windows. Got the uh, well, the windows, doors painted. Finished up the roof. I put uh, dilute white glue, a 50-50 mix. Painted it on with a paintbrush, and then added uh, basically dirt from the garden. I sifted it on slowly. Added a little bit more white glue, sifted a little bit more onto it, spread it around, tamped it very lightly with my finger, and now I'm gonna let it dry and then knock off excess. Uh, again, coming over, side of the building's done. For the front, for the uh, overhang, if you remember uh, the last video, this was just included with a kit. It's just a you know small, thin piece of styrene. So I took uh, scale lumber and just added uh, a little bit of a, a detail, like it's a metal roof, uh, you know, with the overlap on it. Uh, but that's dark under there, so we ain't gonna see inside. But uh, you know, got the post, got like that post has been bumped, a little bit of rust added, doors painted in there, windows painted, exterior uh, painted my access doors red, sort of a, a light brownish gray for the uh, the bigger doors uh, smokestacks uh, again that's included in the kit painted those uh, again just grimy black and then gave it a wash of uh, rust backside of my mobile gas sign I just used uh, dark chalks uh, powdered it up and uh, pasted it on and then just sort of rubbed it in to give it a weathered appearance here uh, let's see, let's go again this side of the building. Same thing, windows done, door is red. So this particular one, like I said, uh, put the glazing in for the windows, cover some of those, uh, make it look like there's some blinds and some other stuff in some of them, and that will wrap that one up. Also as part of that complex, I have these two uh, pieces of, uh, I don't know, uh, spare pieces that came out of a bunch of stuff I bought off eBay a long time ago. You know, it's like the corrugated metal. So I'm going to paint that uh, an aluminum color uh, and then weather those up uh, so that they can go on, uh, you know, to the buildings, kind of like how I had it sitting uh, over on the layout. So I'll get that done, a little bit more with the windows, and uh, then I'm going to go into the next building here. Uh, I've got the two outbuildings now painted with uh, the uh, silver color. As soon as it dries a little bit more, I will uh, paint the doors red. Then I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to give uh, the whole things a shot of the uh, Tamiya color for plastics, which is their flat clear. So basically a dull coat. Uh, once I get that on, then I can do... A little bit of work with chalks to uh, give it an appearance much like uh, what I did with the Quonset hut uh, that video I did on the build for that a long time back makes it look weathered makes it look like it's been there for a while should be pretty good so uh, the next little clip will bring us back to uh, this and uh, should have it pretty well weathered by then all right, this building is done with the exception of the window glazing, which I'll put in later. I uh, chalked up my two little outbuildings. Once the uh, dull coat uh, or clear dull finish from Tamiol uh, dried, used combination of black uh, dust as well as some rust and uh, brown chalk dust just to kind of give it a weathered, aged appearance. Pretty good looking. And you can see the other one over on this side. Looks like they've been out in the elements for a while. And then uh, I also uh, cleaned up and uh, dirtied up the uh, smokestack. I had almost forgot about that until I was looking over there. What I did with the smokestack is I just took a dilute uh, white wash of paint, uh, covered it over, uh, then I put it on a uh, paintbrush handle and slowly spun it uh, and occasionally dabbed to get excess uh, water paint off of it until it was uh, kind of dry so that it didn't continue to flow. Uh, that dried and gave it a nice overall white, uh, whitish coat for everything. 
Then I went back in with uh, the sponge, and you can see it's still kind of wet, and it picked up a little bit of color on it. I got a little bit of water on it, and then I rubbed it. Basically, I burnished the smokestack to kind of get rid of the over uh, and excessive white to give it a duller uh, kind of a bleached finish. When you look at it with the eye, it looks really, uh, there you can kind of get a good view of it. The camera will stay in focus. Kind of brings out the brick texture when you're up close. Then I went over it with a, a black wash uh, at the top and just kind of let it seep down. Uh, and then just before that dried, I went over it with a paper towel just to kind of pull away excess. And then I hit it with a little bit of uh, black chalk in a few spots just to kind of give it a little more character just so that it has a little bit more of an appearance. But uh, all in all, that one, uh, that one looks pretty good. That's layout ready. I will do the windows at some later point, but uh, now I'm going to get started on the next building here. Here's the uh, next end scale project, the other uh, factory. Uh, as before, I got the uh, basic painting done. So this time I uh, got a lot of windows, roofs, uh, some base because it's made out of different material. I got uh, the other smokestack, a set of tanks, and a couple of water tanks here to uh, paint up. So uh, let's see what I can do with this one. Making progress on the uh, next building uh, detail paint process. There's the uh, paintbrush that I'm using on all of the little bit of work. So you can see that's a fine tip and that's what I need to be able to uh, get into the uh, windows, the doors, all of that. I've got most of the building done for the basics. So uh, I've still got to get in and do the uh, cluster of windows on this side. Once I get those done, then I can start on the roof. I am gonna use uh, a little bit of hobby putty on the water tower. That was just a, an old end scale piece of a kit that I had uh, from something. So I'm gonna fill that little gap in before I paint it, but uh, that's all going to be tomorrow. I think I'm going to call it a day. Got quite a bit done. So uh, I'm a happy camper. More to come. Second factory is also complete, except for adding the uh, glazing for the windows. Uh, that is something that I will do on this building, the other building, and then the uh, first uh, building that I put together up in the city of Alta. I will do that at a later time. I'll do those all together because I have an idea of what I want to do. Uh, the uh, pad has really worked out well. I'm going to keep that for a little while longer. So uh, I can see how this building looks. It did add a little walkway up coming out of the uh, access hatch over to the water tower. I do have to uh, get some end scale ladders. And I did order those today off eBay. Those will be coming here fairly soon uh, so that I can uh, add a little bit more detail to get up to the roof on the lower portion of the building, as well as get up to the uh, water tank at the top. So uh, all in all, I'm pretty pleased. I, I was having some fun. Again, it's uh, really a struggle for the eyes especially an end scale. But uh, I'm gonna go put this one over on the layout and then we'll take a look at how both of them look and uh, wrap this video up. The next one's gonna be uh, an HO scale building. That building I will actually uh, show some of the steps that I'm doing. Uh, since it's HO scale a little bit bigger, uh, I think I will be able to add a little bit more detail as I kind of go. So uh, let's take a look at how these look and then uh, I'm gonna figure out how to Start doing my HO scale building here a little bit later today. All right, so over on the back side of the uh, end scale layout, so there's the uh, first building. And then panning over, here's the one that I've just been working on. Uh, I 
think definitely those look better than uh, before I started. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go over to the uh, other side and let's take a look at how it looks like uh, from the track side. So I'm looking at the buildings from uh, track side. Looks a lot different than the uh, plain old tan uh, look of the design preservation models. So the weathering, detailing really makes them pop a little bit better. Coming over, here's the uh, first one from the video. Yeah, I'm happy. I should have taken the plunge and painted these a long time ago. So. Next one will be an HO scale building that I'm going to do. I do have to come back over and I will get this uh, taken care of at some point as well. So I've got a lot of odds and ends to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, that makes it uh, look more railroady uh, having those nice uh, colored buildings in there. So I'm happy. All right, that's going to do it for this video. So uh, take care, thanks for watching, and uh, keep having fun on your layouts.